What's up, guys, and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I'm your host, Jonathan Parkinson, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about BitTorrent on the Linux uh, Linux side of stuff. Uh, what this is is going to be a way of just you can kind of share files across the Internet without having to do it through the cloud or anything such as that. Uh, you don't have a limit on your file size. It's free to use. Uh, as you can see, it says share anything. This is their official website. And it says, you know, Sync uses advanced peer-to-peer -peer technology. So that's simply what, you know, torrents are. And then you can just share files across devices. No cloud required. This means there's no accounts, no file size, uh, size limits. And transfer speeds are never throttled. With that being said, on throttled, uh, you are going to obviously be limited to your... Uh, your internet speed of whatever you have at your current location. So even though it says no throttle speed, you are going to be, you know, you can only go as fast as your internet's going to allow you to go. So take that into mind. Uh, it is completely free. Uh, it's extremely easy to use. And as you can see, I have it synced up right here. And the only way it works is uh, that's it right there. So you want to make sure that the file that you download, which I will have a link to this website so you can make sure you get the beta version. You'll just come into it. You'll click the download version of it. You'll come down and find your Linux, whatever you are running. So if you are in, let's say, a Samsung uh, ARM or Samsung Series 3 Chromebook and you have uh, Crouton installed, you're going to be on the ARM. Uh, if you're on an Intel-based 64-bit, there you go. If you're on a 32-bit, um, there you go. Uh, so far, that's the way that's going to work and everything like that. So simply just download that file. Uh, where is my folder at? Uh, that's what that's going to look like right there. Uh, you're going to need to know the name of this. Uh, you're going to then need to install it. To install it's pretty simple. Uh, I'll go ahead and open up a terminal. Uh, so I've navigated to my downloads folder. Here's my downloads folder. And you're going to type in this code. Now the main bit of the code is going to be this part right here. This part is telling you to extract this file right here which is the name of this file and you will get this included now to get to it you need to open up your local host which is going to be localhost uh, 888 just like it is here I will have this all in the description so it's easy for you to kind of you know read it so you don't have to keep playing this video on over and over again and once you go ahead and enter that it's going to ask you to sign up with a new username and account or whatever you don't need a, uh, an email account or anything like that just create whatever username you want uh, as soon as you press enter and sign in, uh, you're also going to have to click a little I agree button. But once you go ahead and sign in, another little pop-up box is going to happen. It's going to ask you to go ahead and enter in that username and password you've just created. And you'll be greeted with this uh, little window right here. Now once this window is created, you will just go ahead and click on this folder. You'll need to navigate to a folder you want to share. Uh, if you want to get to your main folders, you're going to go to Home your username and there's your downloads, your documents, you know, all the folders that you would see normally right uh, on the home folder. All these folders right here are right there. So I'm going to go ahead and share the downloads folder just to make it an example and there you go. Now if I come over here and I click the share button, you're going to see how long it's going to expire, the three days with the link. So if I send a link to somebody right now, if they want to go ahead and do that, uh, it will expire in three days. I can change that to whatever I'd like to do. Uh, if they want to, if you can set it up to where the people that I set uh, an agreement to, that I need to uh, approve them on the device as well. Uh, how many times you want the link to be used? So let's say you have a music you want to share, and you just want people to be able to get, you know, your song one time over, and not be able to download it a million times. That's a way of doing it—a program or a key code or something along those lines. There's many, 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 many things you can do with this. Uh, make sure you do set it to read only unless you want users to be able to get into that folder and manipulate it without you knowing. That's you know kind of what that's set up there for. And then you can just either send it in a QR code, you can copy it and send it maybe in an email or whatever you want to do or copy it and put it on your social media site. You know, it's, it's all up to you. Uh, do be careful though. I want to put a word of warning out there that you do not want to go ahead and uh, uh, set it up to where you know, you're giving access to your internal side of your computer because that's how people can get in there. Uh, make sure you know where you're sharing it, what you're doing with it. And, you know, just put a little heat of warning out there. Uh, but that's all I really wanted to talk to. It's a completely free source. Uh, real quick, you'll see on the bottom if you are sharing stuff, the uploads and download speeds that are going on. So if you have a lot of people on it, uh, you take that into consideration. Uh, this is kind of a good way to get away from the bandwidth problems. So if you're, let's say you have a domain and you have something that you're trying to share to users and you have an extra computer, you can always set that up as like kind of a home server 
set this up and then have links come directly out of this. That way that your website is not gonna get knocked for you know going over its allowed bandwidth per month because that can get kind of pricey. Uh, this is a good way for maybe podcasters or you know if you wanna share videos, programs, if you have a developer and you wanna share something, that this is a great way of doing it as well. But that's all I really wanna to talk to. This is called BitTorrent Sync. Remember that it is available on your mobile devices as well. Take that in consideration and available for Windows and Mac. So it's across the board ready for us all, thankfully. And it is free to use. It says it is in beta. Uh, I've been using it for about a week now. It's pretty smooth, pretty easy to do. Um, and if you do have any questions or comments, as always, leave them down below. Again, in the description, I will have all of this kind of written out a little bit, pretty simple, you know, at least the commands to get it, the links to find it, and so on. But as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next video.